Stop giving money to charity. This might seem like advice that you're going to push back against, but the reality is that's the right advice for many Americans in 2020. Look, if your income is down, perhaps you shouldn't be giving money to charity in 2020. That doesn't mean you won't make this up, but for a lot of people struggling this year, they do want to consider not giving money to charity, perhaps giving more next year. I've been blessed enough to be able to give this year. It's meaningful. But that's the question, to give or to not to give in 2020. And really, from a financial planning perspective, right, timing matters. Things like the SECURE Act, the CARES Act, Tax Cut and Job Act fundamentally change the tax benefits surrounding charitable giving. So this brings up questions. What do we want to leverage? What do we want to use from an effective giving standpoint? Right This year, we've got a new above-the-line $300 per filing tax deduction for cash gifts for those who are not itemizing. We can go up to 100% of AGI this year in cash gifts and deduct it. No RMDs. Now, that's going to impact our QCDs, which we'll talk about here in a second. The other thing is tax cut and job act lower tax rates and income might be down in 2020 due to the pandemic. Now, let's start thinking about this. Are there strategies that can be more effective? Don't give in 2020 and actually bunch contributions into a different year. So perhaps giving more next year in 2021. So a good example of this actually comes with the RMD change. No RMDs in 2020, which means QCDs, Qualified Charitable Distributions for those seven and a half from the IRA directly to the charity, won't offset RMDs. Still not taxable income. But should you push that till 2021, give twice, right, twice as much up to that $100,000 limit, perhaps, and you would offset the RMDs. That might be a more effective way to give. Now remember, giving is not just about taxes and the money. Decide on the why, the impact. That's what's important once you have that goal. Then we can figure out whether it's cash, appreciated stock, charitable remainder trust, whatever the most effective way to give, because that's really what it's all about. Give impactfully, give efficiently.